On Lake Washington, an APLUW team and collaborators from the UW Department of Mechanical Engineering test a full-scale prototype tidal turbine and the systems that measure and control the turbine's performance. And the blue is when we were winding. We are still in the process of commissioning our turbine testing system. We're making software updates every week. We're adding new sensors every week. So part of the reason why we're out is just to see how well things are working and to check on our software updates. Turbines take energy from a flow of fluid. The cross-flow turbine is efficient and robust, with only one moving part. When people look at a cross-flow turbine, uh, they often wonder why is this not look like the kind of axial flow turbines you'll see out on a wind farm. There are two big benefits to the cross-flow turbine. One is you don't have to worry about what direction the water is approaching the turbine. It's got the same performance regardless of where the, uh, what the inflow direction is. The other big benefit is that with these, you can have an array set up where the turbines that are downstream are actually benefiting from the wake of the turbines upstream of them. So you can have this cooperative effect that ends up resulting in greater performance. This prototype is being tested aboard the laboratory's RV Russell Davis Light. Here, the vessel's speed simulates a tidal current. With the turbine raised and lowered by the gantry between the catamaran hulls, Tests of rotor design, powertrains, generator performance, and electronic control can be repeated under various controlled conditions. It operates in a lift regime, so it's not just like a water wheel and basically taking energy passively, but we're actively controlling it, we're actively turning it up to a certain speed, and we end up getting more power out of it than we put in. We also have a torque cell that's keeping track essentially of the, the difference between the amount of power that we're putting in and the power that we're getting out. And the idea is that we would be able to basically create a microgrid offshore. We could be powering a monitoring package just to uh, observe the environment. And then also these could be used to uh, create power for remote communities that typically end up using diesel generators. We are long term looking toward taking the information that we learn here about how well the turbine performs, how well all of our hardware and our electronics work together, and then eventually deploy a field scale turbine on a lander somewhere in the Puget Sound to see how well this would actually work in the field. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.